I appreciate the hat tip. I, I, I have not talked to the Cine Nerdle team or the person. I, I don't even know who's involved with it. But I will say, I think they've been giving us little hat tips with the movies. Yesterday was three Planet of the Apes films, um, which I tended to play in the duels all the time. And today is Scream and Scary Movie, two of my most played films, without a doubt. But it's also good because they're like thematically, like one is a parody of the other. It's not just two unrelated movies I play a lot. I love this cover, bro. It's so good. Like, this, this is so emblematic of the Wayans Brothers spoof type humor. The dude is holding a shirt up that says, I see dead people. Me at age 12? That's hilarious, bro. That's a reference to the sixth sense. That's hilarious. I hate those movies with a passion. I watched Scary Movie 1 through 4 or 5 um, <laughs> last year. Scary Movie 1 is still pretty decent. I think Scary Movie 2 is really bad, but that's kind of funny in and of itself. And then Scary Movie 3 is like the best one. And then the rest are actually like not even worth watching at all, even for like so bad it's good. But I still watch them now and then. I have nothing else to do. Most played movies, Scary Movie 2, White Chicks, and Scooby-Doo. Most banned, Anna Ferris, Marlon Wayans, Wes Craven. Well, I was going to ban Anna Ferris as well, so I understand. We're starting with Scary Movie. I think this makes sense. Let's ban Anna Ferris. Let's mix it up and ban Sean Wayans just so we don't seem so basic. And I'm trying to think what would be... Like, I don't think people are going to come out of this to Shannon Elizabeth or Lachlan Monroe or something like that. So where are they going with this? Maybe, maybe for now, we do drop a Shannon... Oh, you know what? Let's drop a Carmen Electra. You know, she's got an esteemed filmography. She was in fucking Good Burger. Okay, scary movie... Let me think about this for just a second. <laughs> um, I want to lose you. Uh, let's go to White Chicks. Meet the Spartans is a great first pivot off of a uh, scary movie. We will, we will implement that technology. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> we will not be rematching. Old Oprah, what a name. I don't know who else is in Meet the Spartans myself, so... <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll find out, because someone's going to play a cast on it, I'm sure. Old Oprah. My name is Richie Cunningham, and this is my wife, Oprah. You're showing 13. I'll stay. I advise you to hit, sir. I also like to live dangerously. Meet the Spartans, 08. Carmen Electra, and then some of the producers, maybe. Balls of Fury, 2007. Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Dumbledore. Via Dan Fogler. This is a gamer. They came to play with the Diedrich Bader. The Holiday 2006. Okay, you're a gamer and you came to game. I respect that for you. Let's take you into um, Huckabees. Via Jude Law. I got I to gotta, I gotta poke around. I got to figure out your blind spots here. I shouldn't have been the second X on Jude Law. That's just that's poor play on my part. I should have just gone with the Naomi Watts classic. You're going Spy 2015. Okay, I go, um, can you ever forgive me? The, playing Cine 2 Nerdle for like two hours a day has been insanely good for finally teaching me the names of movies I've had confused for like five years. Bridesmaids 2011. Okay, this is 40, 2012. There's an easy pivot out of this, but let's just see how you like it. Should have taken you to like um, The Boss. Is that it? The Boss? 
Okay, blockers via Leslie Mann. If you know Leslie Mann, I'm not losing you in the Judd Apatow universe. So I'm going to take you to the Marine with John Cena. We're going to stretch it out because it's going to be a game here. It's going to be a game. Lifelines still remain. Cast Lifeline. I know we're going to Terminator 2. And then I'm going to drop... I got to think about where we're going. Oh, you're skipping me that I'm going Terminator 2 and I don't have to think that hard at all. We can save the glycogen. You love to get a, a risk-free lifeline mill. Conan the Barbarian. Hmm. Sven Ola Thorsen. How about another round? Sounded Dutch. Danish. Whatever. Um, I'll go collateral damage. I'm okay using a lifeline to get out of an Arnold hole. Because I don't have any other option with Conan the Barbarian. I got to remember who directed that one day. True Lies, 1994. Okay. Um, we're going to take you to the Stupids via Tom Arnold. I feel like I got the tempo again. It's not a very well-known movie because it's extremely bad. I didn't want to go Jamie Lee Curtis. It's too easy. Too easy for them, I should say. Cast Lifeline. I believe this is a John Hughes movie. So you, you could get out of it with a John Hughes. I'm surprised. I'm su with, with Lifelines remaining... Oh, Christopher Lee is in this. All right. Well, look, give, me my, uh, give me my Daniel points. We'll go Brazil via Ian Holm. <clears throat> Fish Called Wanda, 1988. Okay. Well, I could always go Jamie Lee Curtis mode. But me personally, I'm going to say... Um, Give me Dave, starring Kevin Klein. Paul, Paul, how to lose friends and alienate? No, we start with Run, Fat Boy, Run. Then, if you give us the Simon Pegg kill shot, that's when we play How to Lose Friends and Alienate People. How to Lose Friends and Alienate People, which also stars Megan Fox. They know. And Ricky Gervais. Okay, The Invention of Lying. Um, I'll take you to War Dogs via Jonah Hill. I'm trying to mix up my Jonah Hill kill shots because they're getting too easy. Like I'm, I'm like Jonah Hill kill shot, a uh, money ball. Like I'm an idiot. Okay, Whiplash 2014. Cinderella, 2015, Lily James. Cinderella, uh, uh, maybe it's a different Lily. Um, the Tomorrow War, J.K. Simmons. Uh, the Lily James, the Lily Collins, and the Emma Roberts, same actress in my head. I'm still working that through. J.K. Simmons, Kill Shot. Oz, the movie? Probably not going to happen. Um, I'm going to play uh, Sahara. For Rain Wilson, aiming for a super kill shot. Matthew McConaughey. Okay. Um, take you to The Accountant via Ben Affleck. And then if you hit me with a Ben Affleck potential kill shot, I'm going to Tender Bar. I got, I got my pre-move set up. Goodwill Hunting, The Tender Bar, 2021. Okay. That's tough. That's a tough one. Honestly, that was a good... I would rematch you. That was a spirited game. It went to 36.
Scream 1996. I want to block Matthew Lillard. I want to block... I'll block Wes Craven. It's not my strong suit. I'll, I'll block a little Drew Barrymore on this too, and then I'll lose you in like riding in cars with boys or something. <clears throat> You're going Scooby-Doo? Okay, welcome to SLC Punk. And now you can't play Matthew Lillard. Matthew Lillard was blocked by my ban. That's unfair. They chose to play Scooby-Doo. That's an insult to me, Scooby-Doo. At least play Scooby-Doo Monsters Unleashed or something. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Okay. Um... I, I want a movie that, uh, uh, no strings attached. Uh, friends with benefits, then. I want you to be forced. Oh, Jason Siegel's in this bitch, too? I wanted them to be forced to play a Mila Kunis so that I could hit him with an American Psycho, too. They go, I love you, man. I'm going to take you to Pumping Iron. It's just a flex, pun intended, because Lou Ferrigno, excuse me, it's not in the database. Um, this is 40. Jason Siegel's in that. We're going to need a second. Um, to give me plus 15 seconds on this. Super bad. <clears throat> exactly how I expected to get out of that. They took Pumping Iron out. It's got Lou Ferrigno's in both of them. Uh, it's because they removed a bunch of documentaries. I see. They don't have Robin Williams come in my brain anymore. The Sitter. Wow. Okay. Um... That's a, good, that's a good one. I'm going to give you the opportunity for your Jonah Hill kill shot because I don't know anyone else in the sitter. But I'm going to put the sitter in my brain. Mid-90s, okay? A solid one. If you're going to cast me on that one, that makes perfect sense why you would do that. I will hit you with a skip. Okay, Lucas Hedges. Now we know. Mid-90s kill shot, Lady Bird escape. Mid-90s kill shot, Lady Bird escape. Now on the Lady Bird escape, I will take you to pretty, uh, sorry, little women. Not pretty woman, although that gets us to Mystic Pizza. Hey, Valentine, thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you so much. Beauty and the Beast. I fucking hate Josh Gad, man. I'm going to Frozen 2013. You really want to be in the animated Disney movies versus a silver level uh, Disney cruiser? I don't know about that. Maybe, maybe you do, but I don't. Rosario Dawson, seven pounds. I needed a second for the brain to catch up. Clerks 2. Is... Excuse me. Oh, it's Rent 2019. Uh, Spring Breakers. Yo, you got me. Rent 2019. I'll give you some credit. I should have looked at the year. But I was like, Rosario's in that, bro. Rent 2019. Very clever. I didn't know they made a Rent 2019. He's all that. Okay. Taking you to hackers. Someone got me with Sweeney Todd 2006. Johnny Depp's is 2007. That stings. Taking you out of Mr. and Mrs. Smith, hitting you with The Mexican 2001. Josh Hartnett is not in that. You're thinking of Brad Pitt. Bullet Train, okay. Kumiko the Treasure Hunter. Just taking a guess. Um, how about Kick-Ass 2? Just trying something. Moonstruck. Yeah, he's trying to... What you talking about, Willis? That's what we say. Super bad, right? Okay, makes perfect sense. 
Youth in Revolt. We got to get him off balance first. The Duff. Play, play movies that actually came out, okay? Not some shit that was on like Freebie circa 2019. Play some shit that some people saw in theaters at least. That's I'm, I'm begging you. Michael Sarah kill shot is hard. Um, I'm just going to play 10 Cloverfield Lane. I want to keep the tempo. I'm not, I'm not going to give you the tempo by giving you a free kill shot because I'm not playing like, you know, uh, this is the end on you. Your ass going Big Lebowski. Okay, very understandable. I'll go Gloria Bell. <clears throat> oh brother where art thou John Turturro kill shot here's what we do we go um, we play Barden Fink you get out of it via John Goodman oh John Goodman would be the second ex because he's an old brother where art thou of course not smart. I thought that that would not Goodman because I wasn't thinking straight. And then I was going to kill shot you with um, something else. <laughs> Ted McGinley is also in office space. That's not that's John C. McGinley. My mistake. Uh, we have to we have to skip you on this one. You're going to have to hit us with some Robert Carradine. I know David Carradine. I don't know Robert Carradine. Why didn't I play Revenge of the Nerds 2? You're absolutely right. Top Gun. Man on Fire. Top Gun for Anthony Edwards. Who's Anth is Anthony Edwards Goose? The Tragedy of Macbeth, 2001. This is bad. Um, I mean, I know Denzel movies. I want to leave you with something you can get out of. <laughs> I knew this shit was coming, man. Colin Farrell, Linda Gravatt. Okay. We're getting out of it via Colin Farrell. We're going the recruits. Listen, look at what they're playing, okay? They're going to know Phone Booth. We got to find a way to, to lose them in the weeds a little bit. They go with In Bruges. Okay, here's... Maybe... It is my kill shot anyway, because they're going to know Yorgos Lant the most stuff. This is good because it only has like two total actors in it. Now, you're going to know that it's Kiefer Sutherland, but maybe you don't know shit about who's in uh, they, Cl uh, they Clone Tyrone, for example. Ghost Dog, Way of the Samurai. Okay, I mean, I know Forrest Whitaker movies. But I'm giving you the kill shot potential. Oh, you're right, I could have gotten that with Jim Jarmusch. Fast Times at Ridgemont High, we're free. Um, take me to... I Am Sam. And then think of a good third Sean Penn movie. I don't have a good third one here. I do. I could go Gus Van Zant. <laughs> I don't want to. I'm going to play Mystic River, but it kind of gives the tempo back, unfortunately. I was just trying to think of what the fuck has Sean Penn been in in 27 years? He hasn't been in anything. Gangster Squad. <laughs> Gangster Squad. Okay, Bull Durham with Tim Robbins. That's a good poll. I'm going to say Hoosiers. I just assumed there would be a connection there.
Thank you for not skipping me back. I appreciate that. Now, if I'm going to lose you... Well, you know what? Let me go to the Adams family first. Fully aware that I could get lost in, like, Argentina with Raul Julia here, but I got to be true to myself. He's not from Argentina. I don't, I don't know where Raul Julia is from, to be honest with you. Um, I'm going to give you... I want you to play Adam's Family Values. So I'm going to play Street Fighter and see what else you know about Raul Julia. I should, I should have said overdrawn at the memory bank. The Mystery Science Theater 3001. You skip me? Overdrawn at the memory bank. They don't have it. Overdrawn. They don't have it, bro. Okay. Adam's family values. It's not in the database. It's too shitty. They're going Joan Cusack. We're going to come out of that one with a... I don't want to give you a Tim Robbins kill shot, so I'm going to play Nacho Libre, 2006. I, like, I, I thought about going back to Tim Robbins with the Hudsucker proxy, but I worry that that gives you the third X on a Tim Robbins movie that I'm not familiar with. Jumanji, The Next Level. Jack Black kill shot, Goosebumps to Haunted Halloween. Fuck, they'll just... No, they can't play Goosebumps 1. Jack Black's in that one, too. That's tricky. That's tricky. I know how to get out of this. You get out of that via Chris Parnell. I'm out of here. You're too good. I respect you too much to play you again. Let's both go farm some wins. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Perfect record. What the hell else is Chris Parnell in? I don't know. I probably would have typed like the Lego movie or something. Some Saturday Night Live movie I'm sure he's in. <clears throat> Smiley Face 2007 with Anna Ferris. So I have Anna Ferris banned. So I kind of feel like I could just drop you into Scary Movie 2. And then you're, you're in all of my bands, except Carmen Electra right now. Okay, they found my Sean Wayans band. <laughs> Idiocracy, no links found. You haven't seen Scary Movie 2, huh? Tim Curry, Tim Curry, David Cross. Tony, uh, Tori Spelling. This feels dirty? How is it dirty? I played Scary Movie 2 on top of Scary Movie and they said I'm out of ideas. That's like, uh, that's like playing Knight F3 on Move 2 after you play E4. It's just like what you do. Clue. No, no. Scary Movie 2 has the Clue link, bro. If you're stream sniping, you can't get there from Scary Movie 1. There you go. Scary Movie 2. Now, Scary Movie 3 is the wrong play, in my opinion. I think the right play is Little Man, which abandons you on a Wayans Island when you can't get out. I believe this has... A lady in it. <laughs> now, if you skip me, I will play white chicks. Because <laughs> you don't have the Wayans Brothers band. <laughs> oh, man. 
Sean Wayans was blocked by my ban. You skip me. Okay, now you might have a way out of white chicks, but you are completely out of, out of, out of lifelines. They do idiocracy Terry Crews. Okay, um, we go get out. They go cabin in the woods. Good play. Okay, we go Cedar Rapids. That's a Sigourney Weaver connection. He did decline my Meekin, but that's okay. The Hangover, 2009. Road Trip, 2000. Via Oscar-nominated director Todd Phillips. Joker, 2019. Todd Phillips. Uh, the Hangover 3. Shouldn't be hard to get out of this. Lots of... Uh, you can't play Hangover 2, but I was going to say, there's lots of famous actors and actresses in this. How about... Um, how about Megan? The Megan Accepted via Ronnie Chang. You decline my Megan? I, I re-Megan you. The perfection. Okay, we're not. I, oh, I'm gonna follow it up with Horizon Line, and then you've got to Keith David your way out of this. These are book moves. Okay, they, maybe it was hard to discover the book, but once you got the book, all you got to do is read it. They don't remember. It happens. Gosford Park, a classic play. I can't blame you. We go again. I'm going second off a scary movie. Keanu, 2016. Okay. Um, Bad Trip, 2021. I'm, I can feel like the neurons that previously I had to work at connecting when I played this have connected over the last week, and now I'm building new. It's a good play. Um, now I'm building new neurons. I can feel the FTP rising. I'm going to take you to Kingsman 2, the Golden Circle. Tetris. That's a really good play. Rocket Man. 2019. It's crazy that Tetris did not come out in 2020. Nice play, then you snap, respond. Some of you don't get it. When you respond with a second X, you're giving them a potential kill shot. So that is, I'm deferring to them. I'm showing them respect. Me personally on this one, I would probably hit you with uh, the King's speech, put you on the Colin Firth line, even though it's not my area of expertise. Staff is here, scatter. Staff, I'm, I'm not trying to put you on the spot, okay? We need to get our mod unglobally banned from the from the website, okay? Their appeal got denied. Give me Bridget Jones Diary 2001. I they understand what they did wrong. They were telling a joke about their strict moderation standards and said like if someone did something like that, I would in Minecraft. They didn't say the in Minecraft part. They were joking. Just for the record, we go intolerable cruelty. Sorry, I'm trying to juggle a couple of different balls here. And they understand that they shouldn't have said it. They've been a devoted mod in keeping with the TOS for years. They made a joke that got taken the wrong way by automated moderation standards. 
And they also stream on the website. We need to get them back. You high fidelity me. I go um, entrapment. She dips beneath the lasers. I apologize for airing this out in the open. I got, I got strings moving in the background too to hopefully get stuff going. But, you know, a lot of people are on holiday, which I totally understand. And the mod totally understands as well. But they don't deserve to be globally banned indefinitely for a joke that I don't want to say it wasn't that bad, but I think it got it, it crossed a line that some context would help to to put it into perspective. Hang on, I wasn't paying attention. I, I burned a lifeline for origin. I, and I respect that, by the way, I respect it. Uh, I'll just take you to collateral on this one. I hate to burn a lifeline on Tom Cruise, but... Sorry, I'm a dev. Is there anybody in the office we could <laughs> pass this along to? I promise it'll only take two minutes to look at. I've never asked for a favor from, from Twitch Brass ever before. No links were found to this movie? I didn't even want to hit skip. Am I insane? Haven't I played Dreamgirls on, on Ray like 15 times? Is, are there two dream girls? There are two dream girls, is bro. They added new movies. My muscle memory's all backwards. Nice play. Austin Powers and Gold Member. This movie's got a lot of connections. <laughs> Let's go with the Love Guru. I'm going via Vern Troyer, but I'll take the Mike Myers connection as well. You, a smart play, so I married an axe murderer. That's a smart play. What do you know about the cat in the hat? Now, I know that the kid from the cat in the hat is the... He, I'm going to have to hit him with like a... I might have to cast on this one. But the kid from the cat in the hat has been in other stuff. Oh, you just Grinch me. Grinch 2000, 2018? The Grinch 2018? How the Grinch Stole Christmas 2000. Okay, turns out uh, Frank Welker must be the guy who sang the song. Mindy Sterling is also from Austin Powers. She goes, send in the clowns! The Truman Show. Okay, yeah, The Truman Show. Yeah, 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 I understand, The Truman Show. I would like to, we'll just go Apollo 13. That's not how you spell it. I love that for her. The Burbs, 1989. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is this a Ron Howard movie? I'll play Captain Phillips. I, I don't want to use a lifeline on Tom Hanks, but you, you backed me into a corner. I respect it. Sully. This is a Ron Howard movie. Why can't I think of Ron Howard movie? You can't, you can't play Splash, little bro. It's not a Ron Howard movie, just for the record. It's a Clint Eastwood movie, of course. Okay. We play in the land of women, in the, in the company of men, 1997. That's our Aaron Eckhart entry. There you go. Thank you for smoking. I take you out of thank you for smoking into <sighs> Wayne's World 2. Wayne's World. 
because Mike Myers is all used up. No disrespect. So you got Dana Carvey. You got other Rob Lowe movies. They go Master of Disguise. I go Wayne's World 2. And then if you got a Dana Carvey kill shot, by all means, you may. Take a time lifeline. Yeah, the turtle movie. That's the master of disguise. Oh, interesting. A Night of the Roxbury. Hmm. I would take you to White Chicks via Lachlan Monroe. Welcome back to the pain cave. Sorry to bother you, 2018. Okay. Welcome to Scary Movie 2 via David Cross. Where are you going, motherfucker? Come back. <laughs> Go ahead, skip me. Interesting. How about Alvin and the Chipmunks 2, the squeakquel? You know what? No, I'm taking you to Chipwrecked. Not chipwrecked. <laughs> Party of Rockers on the house tonight. Sorry. It's not tonight, it's tonight. 2X Anna Ferris is scary. Um, excuse me, Anna Ferris is banned, my friend. Anna Ferris is banned. Good games, good games. They could just play another Alvin. Yeah, then my ass is getting out. I'll play uh, Jason Lee. Why is Carmen Electra banned? I don't want them to play fucking Blue Thunder or something that she was in in 1991. Also, I can't think of another noteworthy actress who's... Well, I was, actually, I meant to put Drew Barrymore there. My mistake. Okay, I want you to be forced to play... I want you to get stuck in Scary Movie. So I'm going to play the house bunny. And then if you reply with an Anna Ferris movie, I play Scary Movie 2 and you got to find a way out. You played Scary Movie 2. Now, from Scary Movie 2, I personally feel comfortable taking you to Little Man. We're still feeling out our strat. Marlon Wayans was banned by our opponent. We'll go Alvin and the Chipmunks Chipwreck 2000. Anna Ferris is in that, apparently. The more you know, Alvin and the Chipmunks 2007. Well, it was a surprise to me. Alvin and the Chipmunks, the Squeakquel has, or the Chipwrecked has Anna Ferris in it. Now you're playing Chipwrecked. Interesting. I will follow it up with a Run, Ronnie, Run 2002. I've been meaning to play this one for a bit. I got, go ahead and skip me. I got, you're going to, you're going to have to cast. You're not going to skip because you're going to play some Bob Odenkirk Kino. That's fine. You're going to go nobody on that one. I'm going to go the cooler because I believe this has Maria Bello in it. It doesn't. I've seen it. It was pretty good. Um, I'll go Little Women. Little Women Theater reaction when Bob Odenkirk shows up on screen. It's Connie Nielsen, of course, from 300, a.k.a. Gladiator. It's not Maria Bello. It's true, Christopher Lloyd is in Nobody as well. I forgot about that. Lady Bird 2017. Hmm. Ah, I forget your mom in this movie. I really don't want to get Saoirse Ronan. I'll drop a Francis Ha on you and then dare you to kill me with Greta Gerwig. Nobody was so bad. It's a right winger fantasy. I don't know if that's true. I thought it was pretty fun. Not, you know, every movie with violence is 
a Republican movie that's mostly just like Reacher. We're going to go, we'll go Greenberg. I'm a little scared because I'm trapped in Mumblecore, but... Okay, you're not going to get me on white noise. I mean, that's a given. We play, um, well, probably a Don Cheadle movie. How about Iron Man 2? Just to show you I'm a real one. I always forget the movie where he's the... Patterson, the movie where he's the bus driver and he writes poetry. That could be an Adam Driver kill shot potentially, but... <clears throat> ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, the Negotiator. Samuel L. Jackson has been banned by my opponent. Okay, fair enough. Um, last Holiday via Giancarlo Esposito. Cast? That's Queen Latifah, bro. You don't know Queen Latifah? Oh, baby, those lifelines. And I know exactly where I'm going. If you skip me, I'm going do the right thing. And if it turns out that... Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. Don't even worry about it. Um, we're going uh, Eight Crazy Nights. I can't remember if Giancarlo Esposito was in Do the Right Thing or Boys in the Hood. But I can type fast enough to get both of them. Little Nicky, Year 2000, of course, okay. Um, me personally, I'd like to keep you in Adam Sandler. It's too easy to get out of. Maybe you don't know shit about Spanglish, bro. <laughs> it's hard to come up with a, an Adam Sandler kill shot. He's got a lot of ensemble movies. Hey, damn it, Pants. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Fun with Dick and Jane. Am I crazy to think that this might have Louise Guzman in it? Okay, it doesn't. We go the number 23 for the Jim Carrey connection. <clears throat> How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the year 2000. We go the Majestic. No, because I don't have a, an escape. We go Ace Ventura 1. Because I have an escape, if you don't have an escape. I should have gone Ace Ventura 2. I, I was just thinking I don't know any other actors. Oh, and I do know other actors. Tommy Davidson is in that. And it's directed by the dude who directed um, Kung Pao. So we could have escaped via Kung Pao. But we got to be careful with the, with the lifelines here. Oh, they knew. They knew. Okay. Scream 2022. We take you to X 2022. The Fallout 2021. Scream 6 2023. This shit does not have Nev Campbell in it. <laughs> so this, I'm, I'm kind of work, looking at a draw here. Scream 6. Scream 4. 3,000 miles to Graceland. Our Courtney Cox kill shot. Oh, but they got a David Arquette connection! Motherfucker. Never been kissed, David Arquette. Take you to riding. No, 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 let me think about this. E.T. Extraterrestrial. Don't go Spielberg. Play a second Drew Barrymore movie. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Fuck you, Mr. Holland's opus. They, they took me into a generation of cinema I'm not that familiar with. I got to get out.
I was going to play Jaws personally. <laughs> no, 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 don't play Jaws 3. Wait, 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 but Jaws 3 doesn't that have Michael Caine in it? I haven't seen the film, but I have seen the house that it bought, and it's magnificent. 1942. Munich. Or as they call it in Munich, Munchen. Um, okay, Cold Pursuits. Take in three. I'm not going to give you take in two because I don't think I can get it. I got to give you something that I can get out of. So I don't really don't want to play. Uh, I got to play Batman Begins, man. I know it's it. I'm not going for the kill shot. I need the angle to a kill shot that I can escape from myself. And take in one is not the way out. Neither is Batman Begins, but like. We can live. Red eye. We respect that. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Good time. Remember me? We're working on our Robert Pattinson kill shots, too. High life. Great play. Um... We got to go for the kill. The problem is, if this backfires. <laughs> what? I, I, don't, I don't have to skip, but I couldn't type in time. Cosmopolis is Cronenberg. That's why I didn't want to go there. I thought it was too easy. I thought we could get him on the boy and the heron. It's not Ma. What's this movie called? Oh, it, it, we'll, do, we'll go Infinity Pool. Different Cronenberg. <clears throat> yeah, we're dead. Avengers Endgame. Oh, never mind. Josh Brolin. <laughs> Dubs don't count. Oh, voice actors are, uh, are, voice acting is real acting, unless they speak English. Okay, no country for old men. We're finding a way out. We're going Vicky Cristina Barcelona. So true, so true. I mean, I watch subbed as well when I watch foreign films. I'm just saying. Mother, tell the children not to walk my way. Uh, um, Casino Royale? I think it's kind of bullshit. Wait, they added 17 mother movies and I can't find the mother I'm looking for anymore. I gotta go lowercase m. Mother is bugged for some reason, yeah? You motherfuckers really solved the whole game, huh? The mother bug? You know all about the mother bug? Layer cake. Now, it's, give me a second. It's going to be fucked up for me to find a way out of this if he doesn't know the way out. If he skips me, I got to go to like Matthew Vaughn, who I think directed Kingsman 3. <laughs> I don't know other shit that Sienna Miller was in. Oh, oh, Tom Hardy's in Layer Cake. I didn't know that. I mean, I have to Bronson you, but I'm, I'm very scared. Legend, Avengers Infinity War. Those are soft lifelines. Well, that's true. Sienna Miller is in uh, G.I. Joe. But I needed to be, I saw G.I. Joe in theaters. I needed to have that jump started for me. True Romance. Samuel L. Jackson is banned, so don't get baited here. We go Alone in the Dark. Christian, no, 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 I got it. Um, Heather's. Via Christian Slater. And then we save Alone in the Dark as our kill shot. 
you basically need two kill shots because you need something that they don't really know on guess one and then something that they have no idea of on guess three because you got to like walk them into the kill shot. So we go alone in the dark, 2005. And if you skip me, I personally feel like we get out. I'm willing to try to get out via Uva Bowl if you don't have a way out of this. But we could go Big Lebowski. Anything, I was just going to say anything with Tara Reed. We'll go election. They're not going down without a fight, that's for sure. Hey, Tomo. The holdovers. Good pick, good pick. I can get out of Nebraska. So I'm going to play sideways. I can get out of Nebraska. Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Who are you looking for? Thomas Hayden Church? Planet of the Apes. Oh, you're Paul Giamatti. Right, he plays the, the craven orangutan. I remember. How about that? Big fat liar. Just thinking. Do you have a way out? Of course, bro. Frankie Muniz. Free guy. Okay, my guy. Pokimane. We go... Van Wilder. National Lampoon's version, please. I remember going to see Nebraska in theaters. The only other people there were all over the age of 70. There's one universal constant in this world. And you know, if there is any ages, I am one of them. If you go to the movies and everybody in the theater is old, you're about to see one of the best movies of the year. That's a guarantee. Good, good night. <laughs> they have a, a non tobloski escape from, from Buried. It has Robert De Niro in it. <laughs> Saw poor things and it was all young people. Guy who doesn't understand the rules of rhetoric. Just because old people go to see good movies doesn't mean all movies young people see are bad. Come on. You got this transitive property doesn't put the inverse transitive property. We'll go after Earth. This man's holding on. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm holding on. I got no lifelines. They're in a position of power. Will Smith kill shot does not exist. Because um, if I play concussion, I need a way out. <laughs> so I'm going to say the legend of Bagger Vance. Potential kill shot, unlikely, but a mystic pizza connection. The last duel. No, don't take me to... I don't want to go to Ridley Scott, bro. I don't want to go to Ridley Scott. I want to go to the accountants. Man, it's crazy that you would apply, reply to a streamer's joke with an essay. Like, cycle, analyzing my personality. The Friday before Christmas while I'm playing Cine to Nerdle. Look in the mirror, little bro. Um, apropos of nothing at all, we'll just go Ben Affleck kill shot that I can get out of. How about reindeer games? Mission to Mars. Mission to Mars. Thank you for the plus one on the, uh, on the Christmas movie, by the way. I haven't seen it, but I must assume it's a Christmas movie. Long shot. Okay, I understand. How about an American pickle? 
Thank you for reminding me that long shot exists. Zach and Miri make a pornographic film. Sausage party. Too many ways out. Bro, I'll pet you. Stop, stop scratching me. You people. Anaconda that don't want none unless you got buns. This is not Jennifer Lopez. The Sitter. No, no, no. Mid-90s. At least I can find a way out. Of, I have a chance to find a way out of the Sitter. Manchester by the sea. Gone, baby, gone. Stop scratching me, bro. <clears throat> Just remember, as you get dragged through the muck, you're the one who chose an argument on December the 22nd, okay? I'm just living my life. That was a great game. Um, it went on so long you forgot you had a skip lifeline. I've been there myself. There but for the grace of God go I. <laughs>